Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. And today, let's continue our adventure to know God's creation from God's amazing creation book. And this morning, we will learn some facts about plants. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us to lead us and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. It says, People look at the outside of a person. But the Lord looks at the heart. Children, let's start from the first fact. Giant puffballs, a kind of mushroom, can grow to the size of volleyballs. Spectrum moss can soak up water up to 20 times its own dry weight. With the long hairs on their leaves, the sandal plant catches bugs. Bugs think that the leaves have honey or nectar on the tips, but it's actually glue. Next fact. The fluid inside another bug, catching plant. The pitcher plant is actually pretty harmless to drink. Just watch out for the bugs at the bottom. The Amazon water lily can grow up to six feet across. Its leaves are so strong that a child can walk on them. The licorice plant has more uses than just making candy. Its flavor is put in tobacco and cough drops, and parts of it are used in making shoe polish. and believe it or not, in fire extinguishers. Next fact, cactus can live as far north as British Columbia and Nova Scotia in Canada and some can grow as tall as 50 feet. And the last fact, all parts of the potato plant, except the part we eat, are actually poisonous. Children, this is the end of our morning worship. And these are some facts about plants we have studied this morning. And thank God, again, we see some of God's miraculous creations through the plants. Thanks to our Creator, the Almighty God, who has filled this world with various types of plants with their own characteristics. Let's thank our Creator for creating the world we live in so perfectly. Children, today, while you are enjoying all of the beauty of God's creation around you, don't forget to give thanks to God for all the love and grace that He gave in your life. May the Lord bless and protects all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen. <laughs>